Hello, I'm Margot Livesey, the author of The House on Fortune Street, which is now available in paperback from Harper Perennial. The novel is set in contemporary London. Uh, London, like New York and Los Angeles, is a city where many people come to find their fortunes. The House on Fortune Street has several inspirations. Uh, several years ago, a, a friend, the father of two daughters, um, told me that his next door neighbor, also the father of two daughters, a man with whom he'd shared many hours of childcare and babysitting, had been arrested for um, dealing in child pornography. And my friend was just completely confounded by this story and didn't know what to make of their long family association. And that perturbation stayed with me. Uh, another source, even closer to home, was a neighbor in London who was um, given the perhaps not very ideal task of ghostwriting a handbook for euthanasia. And a third source, um, which has been present happily in my life for a long time, are a number of women I know who work as social workers or counselors or therapists. And these women are just wonderful listeners, but they're such good listeners that their own needs become almost invisible. And I've often been struck at how bad I am at noticing when one of them is in trouble or needs help. I grew up in the rather peculiar environment of a boy's private school on the edge of the Scottish Highlands. Um, my father taught maths and geography there, and it was quite an isolated community. Um, everyone, everyone in this valley was connected with the school. As an adult, I gradually came to realize that almost everyone connected with the school also had a secret. And what was particularly striking to me was that I very seldom have learned about these secrets on a single occasion from a single source. They've nearly always been revealed to me in fragments over time. And I think that experience happens to a lot of people. And in the house on Fortune Street, I try to capture that experience by giving each of my four main characters their own separate narrative. And I hope that the reader will have the pleasure of both the individual stories and of those stories coming together to form a larger story and of one narrative sometimes contradicting or changing how you view another narrative. As an only child, friendship has always been crucial in my life and I feel I would have died without my friends. I still feel that way in my 50s. And I'm often struck by how few novels deal with friendship as something that's really passionate and interesting. Um, most of the weight in novels seems to go to either romantic love or familial relationships. So one of my ambitions in The House on Fortune Street was to write a comparatively short novel about a long friendship between two women.